Okay, welcome to this video on fMRI univariate analysis using SBM12. Here's a whole overview of the entire pipeline that we're going to use. Um, so typically we uh, start with pre-processing of both structural and functional images. Then we will continue with first level or subject level analysis. And then finally, uh, we will do second level or group analysis. So today we will start with uh, pre-processing, which involves pre-processing of both structural and functional images. So we use the structural or anatomical image of the subject to have high anatomical information, um, high anatomical resolution uh, to be able to then um, normalize our um, functional images via the structural images. So structural pre-processing typically involves the steps of segmentation into different uh, tissue types. Then we will perform skull stripping to uh, just end up with an image of the brain. And then finally, we normalize this image into um, the standard MNI space. Then for functional pre-processing, this involves realignment or uh, motion correction, as well as distortion correction, also called unwarping. And in uh, SPM12, it's possible to do both of these in one step, um, uh, which is called realign and unwarp. Then uh, there's the option to do slice timing correction. Now this is uh, somewhat controversial and not all people like to do it. So that's why I put it in, into brackets. Uh, so you can choose whether to perform a slice timing or not. Then uh, we will co-register the uh, functional images onto the structural images to then be able to apply the normalization of the structural images to the functional images to also then uh, normalize our functional images into the standard space or MNI space. And then finally, we will perform smoothing as the last step of pre-processing. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do this in uh, MATLAB using uh, SPM12 with the SPM GUI first. So we will uh, first have to add um, SPM to uh, MATLAB if we don't have it already. So we, we're going to do add path and then you will need to add the path of your where SPM 12 is located on your computer like this. And now we can run uh, SPM 12 by typing SPM fMRI. And this will start the fMRI package of SPM. Okay, so as the first step, uh, I would simply look at the structural image. So we can go to our anatomical folder of our subject. For example, here's subject one, anat, and then you will find that there's a T1 weighted image, nifty image that is zipped within a GZ archive. So the first thing we need to do is unzip this to get the pure nifty file. So we can use, for example, uh, 7-zip to do this. So I will go to open with 7-zip uh, file manager. And then we can extract this. And so here we have our uh, actual nifty image. And now we can look at this using, uh, for example, Mango or uh, SPM itself um, by going to this path using the display option. So we can copy this, the path of the folder. And then in SPM, we can click on display. Then in the directory, paste this folder path. And here we have the nifty image. And then we can simply click on it on the right side and it's, so it's selected down here and then click done. And here's our anatomical, our structural T1 weighted image of the subject. Okay, so now we want to pre-process this structural image. And as I said, structural pre-processing involves segmentation, skull stripping and normalization. So let's start with segmentation. In SPM, we can then click here on segment. And so this batch editor will open. The first thing we want to do is select our structural image as the volume here. 
So we click on volumes and then specify. Then we want to paste our uh, folder path again, select our T1 weighted image, click done. And now it's selected as the volume we want to segment. And um, the default options are pretty good here, but two things I like to change are first as the um, to save the bias corrected image. So we click here on instead of save nothing, save bias corrected. And then navigate down and at the bottom, we want to also under deformation fields, save the forward field. So click on forward here. And this is the deform deformation field that we want to later use to also transform our uh, functional images into MNI space. So in this segment step already, uh, SPM uses these tissue probability maps of the different uh, tissue types that are in MNI space to basically calculate a deformation field to def uh, transform um, the structural image into MNI space. Okay, as the next step, we can then um, get the current folder where the um, output image is saved by clicking on basic IO, file dear operations, get path names. So this is just to get the folder where the structural images are stored. So here we on the files, we can actually use a dependency. So we right click and then dependency, and then we can select the bias corrected image and then it gets the uh, path of this folder. As the next step, we are going to perform skull stripping. So for this, we go to SPM Util Image Calculator, then click on Image Calculator. As the input images, we are going to use a dependency again. So right click on Input Images, Dependency, and then we choose the bias corrected image. Hold down Control select also the C1, C2 and C3 images. So C1 is the gray matter, C2 the white matter, C3 the cerebrospinal fluid, then click OK. And we simply want to basically add these um, together. So the gray matter, the white matter and the cerebrospinal fluid and multiply this by the bias corrected image to get basically our skull stripped image of the brain. So for this, as the output file name, I will uh, click on specify and enter something like uh, skull stripped bias corrected T1 dot NII. You don't have to specify the extension, but you can. As the output directory, we want to use our dependency to store it in the same folder. So we are going to right click here, dependency, and then check get path names directories. Okay. And as the expression, this is basically the mathematical formula that will now be applied to your input images to create a new output image. Uh, so as I said, what we want to do is we want to um, take our bias corrected image and multiply that by the combination of C1, C2, C3. So we are literally going to enter I1, so image one, times I2 plus I3 plus I4. And so it will take the bias corrected image, image one, multiply that by uh, C1 plus C2 plus C3. And a masking, we want to choose uh, nuns should be zeroed. This is uh, typically what you would always choose here, so you don't uh, end up with uh, uh, none values in your image. Um, under um, interpolation, um, we want to go with nearest neighbor because they're all in the same space. So we, we don't want to have any kind of uh, interpolation here. And then as the data type, um, you typically want to choose um, a high precision value float. So something like float 32 um, should be good. Okay, so this will produce our skull stripped image of the brain. And then as the final step of structural pre-processing, we want to normalize our structural image to MNI space. So for this, we are going to click on SPM spatial 
normalize and then normalize right because we have already estimated our deformation field in the segment step so we just want to apply it yeah and this you will you can use um, normalize right and so you click on normalize right and then as the data we're going to click on new subject and then as the deformation field we are going to use a dependency so right click on this dependency and then we choose our forward deformations from the segment step then for the images to right we uh, select another dependency and uh, typically, I like to both normalize the uh, basic bias corrected image uh, without skull stripping and also our skull stripped image. So again, you're going to hold control and click on this image calculator produced image, um, the skull strip bias corrected T1 and click OK. The defaults can basically stay um, the same. The only thing I like to do is uh, put the interpolation here all the way up to 7th degree uh, B-spline because now we want to have the highest uh, flexibility for, for normalization. And for voxel sizes, typically we also want to stay in the same uh, space. So here I like to use um, one by one by one, which is the resolution of our structural image. Okay, that's it. And then you can simply press run. So this uh, green arrow and then it will do all of these steps for you Okay, and we're done now I would recommend to save your batches so you can uh, Use them for later and also use them for your scripts So for this you can click on file and then save batch and script and then uh, navigate to a reasonable folder and save this with a reasonable name. So something like batch uh, preprocessing structural. And then you can see that two files are created. One is this kind of script uh, that calls a certain MATLAB job. And this is actually more interesting for us, this job file. This is what we can use in our MATLAB uh, batch, in our SBM batch, um, to reuse our batch, basically. So if we um, close this, and then if you click on batch, and here click on load batch, so this opening folder uh, icon, and then you can choose your job file. So click on this, the batch preprocessing structural underscore job. Click done. And then boom, here is our uh, batch from earlier again. And now the nice thing is if you have a new subject, the only thing you actually have to change here is the volume, yeah, the input volume uh, to the structural image of your new subject. So say, for example, we now want to preprocess um, subject two, then we would navigate to the folder of sub 02, go to the NAT folder, and this person also has a T1 weighted NII zipped in a GZ archive. Uh, we would unzip this first, extract. Now we have our nifty image, and now we can uh, navigate to this path with volumes. So go to volume, specify, unselect our previous subject and then under directory we would paste the directory of the new subject and select his or her uh, anatomical image click on done and the rest is already set up because everything uh, is set up using these dependencies yeah we take the um, output images basically from the segment step uh, to get the path names so the, the folder of this subject to get the um, uh, input files for uh, skull stripping and then finally also to get the correct deformation field and uh, images for normalization. And then we could click run again and then it would perform uh, structural preprocessing for subject two. 
So when structural pre-processing is done for one subject, what you always want to do is a quality check. Yeah? So we navigate to subject 01 and add folder. And now it has created all of these uh, different files. And what is most interesting for us are the uh, end files, the warped files. W stands for warped or uh, basically normalized image. And so what we can do is check the registration between this normalized skull stripped and bias corrected image of our subject with a standard image in MNI space. Yeah? And to do this, we copy this path again. And then in SPM, we click on check rec, go to this file or this folder, and then select W skull strip bias corrected T1. And then we want to choose a uh, standard MNI space image. And for this, we can click on PREF. So for previous, go to the SPM 12 folder, canonical, and then for example, select the single subject T1. So this is an example image of one subject in MNI space. And now we have these two images. So at the top, we have our warped normalized image of our uh, subject and at the bottom, the template. And now what I would do is like go to the edges and see if we're also roughly uh, at the edge of, of um, the template. So you see there's a slight deviation, but uh, overall it doesn't seem to be too bad. So if we're here, for example, at the edge to the cerebellum, we're also roughly at the same space in the template image. Um, same here in the uh, temporal pole or in the frontal pole. And you can also go into some of these uh, salsi, for example, so go into the STS, for example, and see if you're also in the STS here, which should be the case and not in a, in a different sulcus or um, uh, a gyrus. And this seems to be reasonably good here.